Hi, I'm Meg Walheimer with the Stacy Froelich team at Compass, and I'm here today at Schaller & Weber to meet Jeremy Schaller, third generation owner. So we're here at Schaller Weber and we wanted to introduce Jeremy Schaller, who is the owner and creator of what we're sitting in right now. Yeah, yeah. Third generation from the original store, but owner of the expansion and uh, the new concept, which is uh, called Bluma. And it's a Austrian style wine garden um, located behind our building on the Upper East Side. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to of us course. today. We'd love to hear a little bit more about Schaller Weber and the history of Schaller Weber. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm the third generation owner of Schaller and Weber. Um, my grandfather, Ferdinand, started the company in 1937. He was a German immigrant. Um, he came here with $10 in his pocket and he knew how to be a butcher. He was a trained uh, butcher and he took his skills to an area in New York that um, once was all German, like sort of like Little Italy or Chinatown. This was the German neighborhood in New York. So he came here and uh, started the company and started with a little small store and it became very successful and it's lasted for 85 years. It originally started as a butcher and now what we look at what you've created, which is almost an empire from a little butcher. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, it's, um, it's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about the expansion and the changes that have happened over the years? Of course, yeah. I started working for the company about 15 years ago, um, but my uncle was running it for a number of years before me, and it was a very traditional German-only butcher shop. So I saw the neighborhood sort of changing in a way, and I, I knew that in order to sustain for a long period of time, we had to sort of evolve and be more um, be more welcoming to anybody that lived in the neighborhood and um, sort of get some younger people and some more people that don't typically know German food to come in. So we did a couple changes to the store um, and with the company and the products. And now we pretty much have something for everybody. When you say something for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. One of the first things that I noticed the big change was your sausage bar. Tell us a little bit about that creation, where that came from. Yeah. so. I opened the sausage bar in 2015, and it was based off of a uh, German-style, Berlin-style currywurst concept, like a little Wurststube um, that you find in Berlin and Austria and Vienna and all over Germany and that part of the world. But the thing is, I knew that we had to sort of diversify that as well. So we do like a Cajun-style sausage called the Pobrat. We do one that's based out of in and out Burger, um, the Schaller Double. So there's a lot of things that you're gonna find with great fun toppings that don't always um, associate with being typical German. I can say that sometimes I'll land at LaGuardia and I'll mm -hmm. come down the FDR and this will be my first stop. Fantastic. I love to get a bratwurst on a pretzel roll. Uh, I love it. Mustard, no crap, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got their way, and uh, we specialize in that, and we'll do whatever you like. Terrific. Yeah. Where are we sitting right now? This is amazing. Yeah, so this is uh, called Bluma, which means flower in German. It's a very summer, sort of like an Austrian Vienna wine garden. We've got a very extensive wine list here. Extensive. Um, it's, I yeah. think it's 25 pages, is it? Yeah, 25 pages. Um, all for Austria, different regions of Austria. So that's our that's our specialty. And then we do a great schnitzel and other kind of Austrian uh, inspired dishes, but we do a lot of other things too. So it's it's a pretty um, diverse menu as well. So. Is something new on the horizon also coming? Yeah, a cocktail bar called wow. Jeremy's. So that's gonna be opening on September 8th, 2022. It's going to be a very high-end cocktail bar with some great small plates to go with it. What are you serving here? So here it switches too. In the wintertime, it's called Hütte, and the whole place changes into a ski lodge. Oh, wow. So we've got fondue and more comfort food Love dishes. That. And in the summer, we have oysters, several different salads, sort of lighter fare. Uh, we do a great sea bass on the menu um, and the schnitzel, which you can always get. It's a little hard to find. You have to walk through the sausage stand 
go down the stairs. Makes that. it even better that it's hard to find. Yeah, right? yes, it's absolutely. Last night I would be here myself. We had a really nice crowd, and you know, it's it's people that know where to find it and stuff. So it's cool. And if you wanted to make a reservation here, yeah, uh, just call us. We're also on Open Table, which really? is the, the best way to get in touch. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to of us course. today. Thank you, Meg. Telling about. Scholar and Weber and third generation, mm -hmm. but what about a fourth generation? Yeah, this is Wolfgang Schaller, and he is gonna help me take the company to 100 years. It's up to you, Wolfie. Take oh, yeah. us there. Tune in next time where we highlight another Upper East Side business.